I'm reading this map correctly, I'm right on top of the Vasquez treasure. Hey, hey Coyote! I think I got caught in the rope of the treasure chest! <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not a treasure chest. It's a frozen caveman! It's a scientific discovery of the century! Oh. We have to take it with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we might not have found any gold today, but this, this is an even greater treasure. I know, the research possibilities are practically endless. It's a frozen caveman! <laughs> Ac actually, crack it is. They lived in huts, not caves. Our research has shown that based off the creek bed findings and the geography of the area, so you see, Krakus, for all those reasons, we can tell they're hutmen, not cavemen. Still looks like a caveman to me. He's alive! He's an ice cube! This is astonishing! Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there, big fella! It's okay. Calm down! It's okay. We're friends! Okay? Yes, sir. Man! This is amazing! It's the foremost scientific discovery of the century! A man frozen in time. I bet we could earn, well, learn a lot by turning this prehistoric man into a modern man. I don't see how difficult it can be. I mean, I've reintroduced zombies back into society and, and man-eating plants in people's everyday lives. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh, hey, Thaddeus, look what we found. We were in the mountains digging for buried treasure. And all of a sudden, uh, we no need to explain, sir. I'll have him cleaned up in a jiffy. Hey, Thaddeus, are you okay? It's a cave lady? This changes everything. And it's a hut lady. We're gonna need some help on this. Gentlemen, are you asking us to help train, educate this young woman that you just dug up from the ground and unfroze from a thousand years ago? Yep, it should be a walk in the park. We're gonna help her become a modern lady. It'll be fine. Especially as long as we have candy bars. And when you run out, sir? That's a problem for future us. Okay, gentlemen. If we don't see improvement in a month, do you agree that we're going to release her back into the wild? Agreed. A month? No problem. <laughs> Let's get down to business.
more time. We are making such great progress. She burnt down the lab and gave you a concussion. Well, that's probably why everything tastes like blue. She was making such leaps and bounds. Sir, she stabbed me in the hand with a fork. Granted, it was correct fork, but that's beside the point. She isn't happy. Look at her. You need to take her home. I'll go get the candy bars. She does look happy here. She was coming around. Sorta. You know, there's plenty of food here for her to hunt and gather all year round. The weather's mild and, you know, what am I saying? She probably knows this area better than we do. I bet I could ask Ella and convince her for just a little bit more time. Look at her, buddy. She's happy out here. Not in the manor. She doesn't need silverware and corsets. She needs the open air and, and the green grass. This, this is her world. But, but, where's she gonna get candy bars from? You know what? I think we can supply her with plenty to last her a while. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my little ice cube. It's okay, buddy. This is the perfect spot for her. This is where she belongs. Besides, I know of a great cave around here. That's why I picked the spot. Do not harm her. Release her from the net. Now, my child, tell me what you know about Krakatus pots. Ha 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 